Well, a Utah man has made it his passion to find out. And now he wants to help others do the same. Keith McCourt tells his story. Kilimanjaro. Martin Fry is about to wrap up an amazing journey. Uh, Denali in Alaska. He's climbed the highest peaks on each of the world's seven continents. Everest, Elbrus, Karsten's Pyramid. And uh, Vincent in Antarctica. Fry grew up loving the outdoors, especially sailing the ocean. When he moved to Utah from California about 12 years ago and away from the sea, he fell in love with Utah's mountains and eventually caught the climbing bug. Something else, too, I always enjoyed a little bit of a challenge. In other words, um, maybe hiking a little further or extending the, what I thought was possible at the time and trying new things. With the seven summits under his belt, Fry wanted another big adventure, but something he could do with his wife and young daughter. And so we ended up uh, choosing to sail. He bought a new boat and the family started a worldwide journey. So the first one was the North Atlantic. Then the South Atlantic and the Indian Ocean. Fry's wife, Kim, and daughter, Lily, joined him for several of the journeys, spending months at sea, at times battling severe storms. They often stopped at small islands along the way, visiting with church youth groups and others, telling the story. And then all of a sudden, you know, the idea kind of crystallized a little more. That is, why not sail all seven seas to go along with the seven summits? He would become the first person to ever do that. I think a lot of people in life tend to get into a comfort zone and they don't keep challenging themselves. Which brings us back to getting the most out of life. The lesson here is there will be obstacles in your life. Fry travels the world giving motivational talks to businesses and private groups, sharing his adventures and encouraging people to push themselves. He particularly focuses on young people. So I love to speak with youth. I love challenging them to find their Everest and to figure out what their passion really is and then to set their sights high, to really be able to uh, reach for something particular that, that's unique to them. Fry has one more sea to sail to accomplish his goal. In China yesterday, he joined the Clipper Round the World Amateur Boat Race to begin the 5,700-mile journey across the North Pacific. Fry began his seven summits and seven seas journey 12 years ago. Now that it's coming to an end, he plans to give back and urge people to find a goal, even a small one, and go for it. It'll be life-changing, as his journeys have for him. Whether it's working hard on a farm or uh, a career or starting a business, all of those challenges are good for the soul. Fry is expected to finish the last leg of his sailing journey about April 20th in Seattle. We'll be anxious to talk to him. Keith McCord, KSL 5 News, still looking for my Everest, Salt Lake City.